Okay, hi. So this is going to be lesson for tingkatan 4, chapter 2, pasaran. Bab baru ha. Huh? Okay, we have done one class in, in, in uh, one lesson in class. So I'm just going to run through uh, with the summary of what we have done. Okay. So um, bab dua pasaran there are two parts. Firstly, kita akan belajar on the basics permintaan penawaran, and then the second part will be the anjalan. Okay. So permintaan dulu. So what is permintaan? Permintaan basically is demand dari aspek or perspective of the pengguna. Okay. So now. When you look at permintaan, there's something called hukum permintaan. Okay, the law of demand, the principles of demand. When the price is high, a basic consumer will reduce the demand. So that's that's what we're going to take and apply here. So apabila harga barang atau perkhidmatan adalah tinggi atau meningkat, kuantiti diminta akan menurun. Okay, sebaliknya apabila harga menurun, kuantiti diminta akan Right. So this is what we have extracted and we can gather that hubungan antara harga dan kuantiti adalah songsang, negatif atau tidak langsung. So these are the terms which will be used in exam. Okay? Songsang, negatif atau tidak langsung. So based on this, kita akan lukis satu jadual permintaan. I've done this in class. So jadual permintaan ini, you will have Harga quantity So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 And then Pada harga 1 Quantity diminta adalah 10 Dan turun, turun, turun Apabila harga meningkat So it meets the Hukum permintaan Dan bila kita plotkan Dalam satu graph Which you have seen in class Kita akan dapat satu graph linear This is called keluh permintaan Yang bercerun negatif So this actually mencerun ke bawah. Okey, mencerun ke bawah down sloping. Okey, dari kiri ke okey kiri ke kanan. Alright. So this is a basic kelok permintaan for individu. Dan apabila kita membentuk kelok permintaan kelok permintaan individu kita Terbitkan secara mendata Which I put in class You will get kelo permintaan pasar Alright So we stop there Now let's look at penawaran Okay so Penawaran is the total opposite Kalau ini dari sudut pengguna Ini pula dari sudut firma Pengeluar Always the producer The pengeluar wants to Produce barang yang harganya tinggi So what happens? Apabila harga tinggi Dia akan naikkan kuantiti penawaran Kuantiti ditawar Apabila harga menurun Kuantiti ditawar akan turun So hubungan positif Harga dan kuantiti hubungan adalah Positif atau langsung Okay so same thing Membentuk kelo penawaran Based on the jadual penawaran You get a positive kelo penawaran Okay Yang ini pula Mencerun Ke atas Dari Kiri ke kanan, right? So now when you have got this two, and you have also got the kelok penawaran pasaran, okay? Kelok penawaran pasaran, ia kelok permintaan pasaran. Take this and this and combine it in one kelok. Where you get titik I Bila permintaan pasaran dan penawaran pasaran bersilap You get keseimbangan pasaran I I is equilibrium Okay, keseimbangan pasaran ha? Okay, so now Bila satu harga dikenakan melebihi harga keseimbangan You get lebihan penawaran So this whole area here will be lebihan penawaran. How to solve this problem? Turunkan harga. So the market price will drop until it reaches keseimbangan pasaran. And bila satu harga dikenakan di bawah harga keseimbangan, 
This whole place price is low, pengguna suka, so lebihan permintaan. So this you naikkan the harga sehingga mencapai keseimbangan. Okay, so this is the basic thing about kalau permintaan penawaran, hukum permintaan dan penawaran for the beginning of part 2 pasaran. Okay, later on in other videos, in the subsequent videos, I will showing you on keanjalan permintaan dan penawaran on how to calculate jenis keanjalan and determine what is the keanjalan figure. Based on the keanjalan figure, then the pengeluar will decide to sama ada naikkan the harga, turunkan harga, or naikkan the penawaran atau turunkan the penawaran. Because of two things, sama ada nak menaikkan untung ataupun menaikkan jumlah hasil. So, this is very important. Please go through the notes I've given you, do the questions, and do the passive questions I've given you also. We will discuss further in class. Okay, so please revise back what I've done. I've done this in class and giving you a video on this as well. Okay, go through and we'll see you in the next video. Okay, signing off. Cikgu Ferro.